my earliest art was comics, actually. I was in love with comic books, with web comics, um, with zines as soon as I learned about them. Um, it was all so exciting to me. I loved storytelling and stories. It was a very fundamental part of my upbringing. My family is full of storytellers, especially my father. When I found comics, I, I found how you could uh, bring storytelling in with, um, with drawing and, and pictures, which had always fascinated me. And I was a very visual person. I loved like colors, nature scenes, um, and anything I could do to bring those two together was like so inspiring. So uh, my earliest art, like serious art projects, um, the very first I made was called Elementa, and it was a series about a superheroine who uh, was, um, she could control the elements, and she was also gay, and she was closeted as a superheroine, but she had her personal life and a best friend in her personal life who was a journalist. And um, the journalist and her superhero, alter ego, started dating, and the, super, the main character is sort of grappling with trying to pretend to be somebody's best friend while also being their partner and also trying not to get outed in this whole process. I made it when I was about 14, 15 years old with my best friend at the time, and it was really, um, looking back on it, I can see how so much of my um, struggles with naming ad identity and discussing sexuality and gender um, and the nuances of social dynamics and dreams for the future and, um, and this idea about what I, what I felt like the world was, was all being articulated in this sort of like goofy six panel comics that I would make. After playing with uh, comics for a long time, I began to paint um, and it got involved in watercolors and acrylics. And um, when I started struggling at home, um, I realized I needed to move out and make money. So I started um, getting all the canvases I could together. Um, after I left my parents' place, I would go go through garbage cans and, and through um, like you know the end of the street in front of people's houses and take. Uh, I took like mirrors and cardboard boxes and tables, and I would take them apart and use any flat surface I could to paint. And I would make these um, mostly like portraits or people's bodies. I was still so uh, transfixed by humanity and wanted to bring together this like emotional. Um, interpretive, uh, nature-based uh, feeling to portraits and people in relationships. Um, so a lot of my paintings were of people's profiles or of people holding hands or being close or pushing away. Um, and I would sit on street corners and try to sell this work um, whenever it was warm enough in Winnipeg. Um, and I also started selling them on Facebook. After moving to Toronto, I kept it up, but I started using more traditional canvases. Um, once I had enough money for it, and I would, again, just sort of paint everything and anything that came to mind, and my um, my paintings became uh, more complex, more professional, I would say, um, and uh, I started being able to sell more and more online and also pick up more and more street traffic, um, and for about two years, that was my main income, was art. Also during this time, I was doing sex work to make ends meet, which I now published a book series about uh, called Confessions of a Teenage Transsexual Whore, um, available on my website. <laughs> and um, uh, this is when I started writing more. And um, I still wanted to draw, but I also just had to get these stories out in a more clear way. So I started to write short stories about the clients that I was seeing or about the uh, struggles I had with interpersonal relationships or past trauma. Um, and, and I wrote a series of short stories that became this 10 part series, um, which I called Confessions TTW. Um, and now, and after several years, I've edited these stories and drawn pictures for each one and created them into about 50 page zine booklets that people can purchase.